Hello friends, in this video lecture we will talk about reading comprehension. There are so many students who have got more than 110 marks in general studies but they have failed to get uh, above 67 in CSET examination and this has become a bone of contention, a biggest hurdle to write mains examination for hard working students and this wrenches my heart and that is why I am trying to share my own experience. I am not a faculty of this subject but having experience of uh, clearing four times uh, out of four attempts that I have given prelims and in CSAT always scoring uh, more than 100 in CSAT examination. I have experience of uh, uh, handling this topic properly so I will try to share my own experience with you, some of the tips that you can inculcate in your preparation and that will help you surely. First of all, what is the biggest hurdle uh, when we, uh, when in CSET we talk about mathematics, reasoning, reading comprehension. Now if you see the number of reading comprehension that has been asked, it is steadily increasing. Union Public Service Commission has understood that this is uh, one portion where students are not very comfortable. Now there is a reason why we are not comfortable. First is we don't have habit of reading passages in time bound manner. We do read books, we do read newspaper, but we don't read those uh, articles in a time bound manner. We are taking 5 minutes, 10 minutes, but on an average we have to read a passage in 1.5 minutes. Now uh, to do that, uh, not only to read but also to comprehend, we have to have good reading speed and the skill which becomes very handy. This is something which can be uh, inculcated through practice. Do one thing, you all read articles in newspaper, one article you will read in time bound manner within two minutes and try to write two three things after reading the article. Don't read the heading. If you can hide the heading, it will be more beneficial. First thing after reading for two minutes, write the central idea of that passage because this is one thing which is asked by UPSC. Second thing you will write, if some article is uh, based on say for example democracy, there would be certain assumptions that a writer will make, certain pre-existing knowledge that a writer would have. So those assumptions you will write after reading the passage. And then what is the conclusion that can be drawn from the passage that is inference that can be drawn from the passage that you also have to write. If you will do this for 45 days, 50 days, you will see a certain kind of improvement first in your reading speed second in your comprehension of big passages and third of identifying these uh, things with more precision. Precision is very important because negative marking ruins so many futures. Then philosophical editorials, philosophical passages are more problematic. Why? Because it becomes harder to understand a philosophical passage, what is the central theme of that particular editorial, why? Because philosophy is one thing which is uh, very deep and which is ambiguous at a, uh, at a certain instance as well, uh, to the certain instances, but what you have to do, you have to get familiar with that as well. And for that I will recommend you to read speaking tree blogs of Times of India. Filter that. There will be so many religious kinds of articles, but there will be so many philosophical kinds of article. You don't need to go daily to that blog, but just go uh, in a week, one times or two times. It depends how much scary philosophical articles looks to you. If it looks very scary, go twice read and do the similar exercise that you are doing with a normal passage. Then there are certain tips that I used to do 
I never used to rely on a single subject, even though we are from engineering background. So we do have familiarity with the mathematics and reasoning, but I used to not rely on a single subject. You have to read uh, passages as well, and you don't have to leave passages for the last. This will create a panic kind of situation. You have to filter passages and attempt them, not at the last, but in the first iteration. Solve C set also in two iterations. How to filter passages? First is, if a passage is of familiar subject, say for example, sustainable development, and you are familiar with that, there is a chance that you will comprehend that passage uh, more easily in lesser time, and precision will be higher. <clears throat> Second, there are some questions which are highly twisted, and that you can identify through practice. You can avoid them, or you can leave them for second iteration. There are some pretty long passages that will take three to four minutes to even read once. So you can uh, leave them for second iteration. If time left, time is left, then you can go for that. Focus on understanding. Sometimes it will happen that you are breaching time limit. You are taking uh, two minutes or three minutes. But the main thing is you have to comprehend the passage. Otherwise, there will be minus zero point eight three three plus there will be a time which will be lost so it will be a lose lose situation you have to avoid that you have to comprehend that if you have chosen a one particular passage just try to understand it that doesn't mean you will take 7 minutes yeah but one minute here and there you can afford don't trust yourself while reading passages <clears throat> there is a space uh, that is there uh, in that space, you can write some central themes, certain central points which are there in the passage. So use pen also. That will help. Underline things. That will help you to answer the questions. There is also a process of reverse engineering. That is, first read questions and then read the passage. This also helps that uh, your mind will start identifying only those things in the passage which is being asked in the question. So this is also one of the process which helps to increase the precision and it also reduces the time. Practice at least 300 reading comprehension. It doesn't matter if you are doing it from previous year questions or from test series. But remember, test series should be also good quality passages, not like uh, one passage having five questions. These are some of the um, scheme of questions which were, which are outdated now there should not be any biases about reading comprehension that they are unsolvable if you they are unsolvable how people are scoring more than 160 marks i know my friend my junior risa breva he scored more than 160 marks since he said he did decently in english yeah you may be from hindi uh, medium you may be from engineering background not having sufficient exposure of reading uh, novels and uh, ambiguous sentences but you don't have any choice this is the particular scheme of exam and you have to tackle that try to do these things I am telling you it will help you everything takes time uh, it may take you 60 days 70 days 90 days but if you will do it regularly you will become familiar your fear of reading comprehension will go away you don't have to attempt all we have to be safe we, we have to cross more than 100 marks that's it we cannot afford to have so much of pressure for 15 to 20 days because of csat we have to clear it comfortably thank you so much i hope this will help you thank you